हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल माई सेल्फ वैब इन एंड टू डिसन ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड ट्रेडिंग यू विल बी कंटिन्यूंग टू वर्क विद अवर दिस न्यू इंडिकेटर ऑन विच वी स्टार्टेड वर्क यस्टरडे दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस ऑन गोइंग सीरीज एंड सिक्स इट इज फेयरली सिंपल इंडिकेटर इट सिंपली ट्राइज टू मेजर द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ द ट्रिपल एक्सपोनशियल मूविंग एवरेज एंड इट्स काइंड ऑफ स्मूदर कंपेयर टू द plain and uh, simple exponential moving average that is ema and uh, because of that to clear out of the uh, volatility which might be there in case of ema we are uh, working with this uh, trex indicator and we will try to use it as a momentum indicator to help us trade with the trend atr atr will help us uh, for optimizing the entry and the exit points Before we get started, this is a standard disclaimer. Here, I would like to remind you that this session is simply for the tutorial purpose, and no claim is being made regarding the profitability or otherwise of the algorithms which you will be developing during the session. Suppose if you want to use any of it, I would recommend that you do extensive trial runs and also allow it to run on the demo account for good enough time to get the clear idea of the algorithms developed here. and of course nothing in the webinar is to be constructed as an advice to trade or for any particular setup with that we get back to our business and our business is developing a profitable algorithm in which we succeed sometimes we fail at other other times but then we continue and we strive to make sure that we are on the right path and here the euro usd is on the rising path as you can see and uh, our uh, trex indicator if you were to trade with this uh, setup of uh, continuing to look for the buying uh, opportunity as long as uh, this uh, trex indicator is in the positive territory and it is rising then i think uh, more often uh, than not you might have got couple of opportunities maybe two three opportunities till now to get involved for a long trade in the euro usd and that's what our purpose is we will be continuing to look for the buying opportunity only till the trex indicator is uh, rising so for that we will be comparing the current value to the prior values and then we will uh, move on on the lower time frame of 5 minutes to determine the precise entry and the exit point and uh, since all the algorithms which we develop are symmetric same holds true for the sell trade we only want to go for a sell trade when the trex values are falling and uh, below zero that means it is in the negative territory and the values are falling as long as uh, that's true we will be continuing to look for the sell trade but as soon as the value starts to rise no trading will happen unless and until the trex get above zero and starts to rise then in that case in that case it enters into a bullish territory and then and again as you can see the buy trading will happen now let us see we will uh, how we can develop both the sides in today's session if we can do it even the time permits we will try to build both the sides let's get started with the buy side so here yesterday we did the instrument subscription the euro usd is the instrument of our choice for this purpose of developing the trix algorithm and then we defined the position amount at zero the setup as of now is fairly simple we are only working with the single indicator so it's all about trix 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 uh, only thing is the look back period is different So here there is one that is last hour candle, then the fourth that is the candle four hour back, and then we will be comparing this value. We are not really taking into account the current uh, hour trix value to keep out the volatility, and that's why this is the way it is. And then we shift our attention to the trix value of the five minutes candle period, and uh, the look back period is seven. So we will be comparing these values and then we will uh, determine the entry point accordingly we got the historical candle of last 5 minutes here this will help us pinpoint the precise entry and exit points for that we are bringing in these historical candles of 10 seconds each 
then we got the ATR, ATR on the hourly time frame and uh, that will uh, help us determine the entry and exit point. For this purpose, for this our system, we are uh, sticking with the 1 is to 1 ratio on the stop loss and the target price. So there is uh, basically a scalping kind of structure in which we are not really concerned with uh, big trades. We are only want to be taking scalping opportunities as long as the trend is on our side. Then we define this. Uh, I think let me check the value here which we had put in the TCF. Okay, that's for uh, our uh, stop loss and uh, target price, and that is uh, the type conversion factor here TCF, and uh, that will come in handy when we bring in the open at market. We are not uh, taking into account the pending open for this setup. We are uh, simply going with the uh, market open. So as and when the conditions are fulfilled, we will go for a market open straight away. We won't be placing any pending order here as we usually do in most of our setups. So we start building our buy side first and the first condition is the last hour's fix value should be higher than the value for us back and here we take take 16 and we compare it to 17 and trick 16 should be greater than the trick 17 so we want the first input is greater than second input okay then we need both of these values trick 16 and trick 17 to be above zero, we want the trading to happen only if the indicator is in bullish territory. So we take trick 16, trick 17, and the output value should be above zero here on the chart uh, when it will enter into a in five minutes we let us turn it into one hour and this change of momentum happens somewhere on 15th GMT of 26th May and that point the value is 15th GMT so somewhere here the momentum will turn from being bearish to bullish or as per the trick indicator but we are not really likely to gain in all at that point in time straight away as we need correction to happen and on the 5 minutes candle we will need the value to enter into a negative territory and uh, from those low levels it should start to rise and for that we are of course going to need a correction and because of that we won't really be getting involved on the high side actually as you can notice that if the other conditions are fulfilled our buy setup might have come into force somewhere here and the buy side trade would have happened around 1.077 and then it would have gone on to touch 1.1107 so that's a move of around 30 pips if our algorithm picked up the trade setup right if the algorithm is working then that might have been the case so that is the system we are trying to develop and for that we need to bring in these values and put in the conditions that trick 16 should be above 0 and trick 17 should be above 0 so we oops what happened 
now the okay network issue sometimes hourly requirement of the tricks are in place now is the time to look for the 5 minutes and here it should be greater than 0 so we have done this now what we need to do is to look on the lower time frame 5 minutes each and uh, there we will be comparing there the uh, 5 minutes candles data the look back period is 1, the 4 and uh, 7 so that's uh, basically data for half an hour when the curve will uh, shift from lower side to the higher side so we take in the last 5 minutes candle close value and then we look back 20 minutes and then we look back 35 minutes and uh, here this uh, last 5 minutes candle value should be higher than the value 20 minutes back and that value should be lower than the value 35 minutes back and all these uh, three values should be in the negative territory so that is the requirement which we are placing here on the by side so we take six 18 19 and 20 and then we do the comparative analysis here first thing we will need all these three values to be less than zero so straight away we will put in those conditions and then we will compare the values individually 6 18 6 19 and 6 20 and all these values should be less than 0 so we put in 0 0 0 okay. 0 ok and it should be less less it should be first input is less than second input and again first input is less than second input and we are also going to need amount of it blocks so again we got new one first input less than second input let us arrange these blocks first and then we will add the setup Though the setup looks fairly simple, still we have to take into account the minor details which if you miss out might uh, change the algorithm's implementation and here we got this the flow color coded is showing up now Here, So we have 
got this condition of five minutes fixed values and hourly fixed values. Now we need to compare the five minutes fixed values amongst the three different outputs. We so we take the tricks 18 and the tricks 18 should be higher than the tricks 19 and then it should be higher that means first input is greater than second input then we compare the tricks 19 value to the tricks 20 value and here the tricks 19 should be less than tricks 20 so again we bring in new fresh if condition and this one here tricks 19 should be greater or less it should be less so we got these two conditions right that tricks 18 should be greater than tricks 19 and then tricks 19 should be less than the tricks 20 so i hope you got the logic here and now we have to define the precise entry point and that would be the candle closer of last five minutes and then as and when the price starts to rise above that candle which we will determine using these uh, two 10 second historical candles our uh, setup will come into play and then initiate the trade so what we now need to do is look at the candle 21's close candle 22 and candle 24 closing price and uh, here let us first take candle 21's closing value auto created candle 21 we got and here is the candle close we put it as second condition and the first condition would be the candle 24's close which is the candle with look back period 2 that means it is going to be the penultimate 10 second candle and then we will consider the last 10 second candle and it should be higher this one 24 candle 24 so it should have been less than the candle 21 close and then the candle 22's close should be greater so again here we need to take into account the candle 21's close and then we compare it to the candle 22's close and as and when the price starts to rise we will go for a fresh trade so candle 24 should have been less and then the candle 22 should have been greater so all these if conditions are fulfilled now is the time to bring in the open and market so in today's statement we are doing open at market and for that we need to do is make sure that candle 22 has closed higher than the candle 21 now we get these blocks where they belong and then we will bring in the stop loss and the target price calculation and uh, then our buy side will be almost ready so here we have to get the aesthetically the height it should look well and be easy to understand so here we 
have played this at Fair enough. Now we will need to define the stop loss and the target price, and for that, we also need to do the type conversion as this is going to be this is result of the calculation is actually going to be our stop loss as well as target. As uh, we are not really making the rescue of the one is to two for today's setup, considering it's a scalping kind of setup, we are working with the rescue of the issue of one is to one. So we keep the stop loss as well as target equally spaced. Slippage can be defined at two pips. And then we got this default profit, and we create this new variable in integer type. It will be an integer type. We make it stop loss as well as target price STP, and its result would be. The ATR multiplied by type conversion factor to remove the decimal points and get in integer, which will be the pips of the stop loss and the target. So here we got this done, and we use the same value as our uh, take profit as well. So it will be one and the same. And that is the hourly ATR multiplied by 10 raised to the power 4. So here we finish off our uh, buy side, but as the time is not likely to per permit us to finish the sales side, we will be back in uh, tomorrow's setup, uh, tomorrow's session, and then we will try to finish off the sales side and see the test result but there is a fairly simple uh, setup you can even try your hands on developing the sales side and it should be simply symmetric to the buy side and not much complexity in the logic as well so you can give it a try or else i will be back in a monday station then of course we will be developing it anyways so that's it from my side for uh, today's uh, session. It was pleasure working with uh, all of you, and we will be back after the weekend on the Monday. So thank you all for joining in. Have a fabulous uh, weekend ahead, and you can even utilize some of the time to developing the third setup. See you on Monday. Goodbye.